So what we're going to do now is we're going to create the table view. So we head over to our storyboard and we drag in a table view. So let's search for a table view. Table view, table view. There we go, drag it in. And it's going to be nice and aligned with our other elements. And then I'm going to set the width or these restrictions right here and keep our aspect just like that. And then we are going to create a prototype cell so that we see how everything is going to look. And in order for us to be able to display the whole tweet, we're going to, let's see, we're going to set this one to custom so that we can adjust the height of our rows. We're going to make it a bit taller. And then we're going to drag in a text view. And the text view will allow us to display larger pieces or chunks of text which is exactly what we want to do. Not just a one-liner, but we want we want the whole tweet to, do, to be displayed. So let's place some restrictions on that one as well. Add those constraints. And if you aren't too familiar with creating custom table view cells, then just click my video, uh, how to make your own custom table view cells or something like that, where I explain that in greater detail. But because this is a project, I'm just going to create it and um, not explain too much to it. But now we are going to also create a file for that custom table view cell. So we're going to say file, new file. It's going to be a Cocoa touch class, next UI table view cell. I'm going to call it my table view cell, next. Then I'm going to save it. And I'm going to do a few things that we need in order to set up the whole table view and that is to also connect control drag to connect the data source and control drag to choose the delegate and then we're going to click on the cell itself so click on the table view cell right there and then we are going to select the file that we just created so my table view cell and then we are going to connect the elements to that particular file so we are going to find our my table view cell right here and then we are going to control drag in this element right here so our text view drag that in and name it my right now i'm dragging in my table view cell so be careful that you don't drag in my table view cell but that you do um, text view that is an error that i did earlier uh, and then my text view I'm going to call it connect it up and there we go so now we are basically created a completely normal table view we did everything in order to set it up but there's one more thing we also have to do and that is click your table view cell and then give it a reuse identifier of cell so we basically created a table view then we created a prototype cell we named that cell cell and then we placed a table view or a text view inside there so that we can access that with our code. Uh, and again, if you aren't too familiar with all of this stuff, then please watch my videos where I go more in depth on this one. Uh, it's called, yeah, as I said, something with creating custom table view cells. So here, let's jump over to view controller and let's create the, let's import a delegate. So UI table view delegate and UI table, table view data source. And then we're going to write in the functions that we need in order to set up a table view. So setting up table view. And we're going to need number of rows in section. And the number of rows are going to be equal to the number of tweets that we have. So we do need to create a variable that stores all of the tweet or an array that stores all of the tweets. So we're going to say var tweets, and this is going to be an array of strings. And right now it's empty. But the number of rows that we have in our table view is going to be return tweets.count. And then we need one more, which is cell for row at index path. And inside of here, we are going to create a cell. So let cell is equal to UI, let's see, is equal to table view dot dq reuse 
um, this one and then we are going to use the identifier that we gave it not too long ago which was cell and then for index path and then we are going to cast that to a my table view cell or whatever you called your file that you created so I call mine my table view cell and then we're going to say cell dot my text view is equal to tweets at index path dot row just like that and we probably need dot text so we're accessing first of all the ta the text view and then the text of the text view and then we are returning the cell just like that so now we have set up our table view and now we are going to scroll longer down or down the code and then here we are going to continue with our function and we are going to get the tweets how are we going to do that well we're going to use the exact same same strategy that we use for those above here so first of all we need to find out what is consistently before each tweet so let's search for recording the videos that will be published next week which i'm doing right now so let's see recording the videos and as you can see before this one this tweet right here there is a long string right here so let's copy that one and i'm going to see if that is consistent with all of the other tweets so that is before this tweet that it is before let's see this tweet awesome and this tweet okay so that's probably the characters that are before in front of each tweet so let's do the exact same thing like we did up here and we're going to say array is equal to web content dot separated or content component separated by and then our string and make sure that you insert this character right here a dash before each of these whatever they're called that's not too important so now we are going to head off how hell head on and we're going to remove the first element in our array now why are we going to do that well that is because if we scroll up here as you can see the first tweet is right here so when we separate it by this string we're going to get this first part right here all of this and then we're going to get our tweet and we don't need all of this so we're going to say array array dot remove and we're just going to remove, remove the first element of that array and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop in order to loop through all of the objects and remove the parts of the components that we don't need so that we're left with only the tweets so in order to do that we create a for loop for i in 0 to let's see 2 array dot count minus one and the reason i have minus one right there is because if we take the array dot count we're going to end up with one more uh loop so we're going to run through the loop one more time then there are elements in the array so hence minus one and then we're going to create a tweet so we're going to say new tweet is equal to array and we're going to take the element number i and we're going to separate that only that component by let's see what they all end with so this one ends with this one and all of the others have to do that because it's html and the end tag also has that one so we can be pretty sure of that i don't think we need to check that so i'm just going to say component separated by that one and of course if the tweet contains this character right here um it will be split in the middle so let's cross the fingers that the tweet does not contain one of those but i don't think that's too often that that's the case so we're just going to go with that one for this tutorial and then we're going to take uh, that component so the first of those components that we have in new tweet which is what we're going to access we're going to update the array so now we have um here when we run through uh, this for loop we're going to have all the components with the tweets and all the other stuff that we don't want then we separated the tweet from the components or the stuff that we don't want and store that in an array in new tweet and then we access the first or 
that array at that uh, at uh, place number i and then we update that to be equal to new tweet at zero just like that and then we're going to update this array that we have up here which all of our table view is dependent upon so we're going to say tweets tweets dot let's see self dot tweets self dot tweets is equal to let's see uh, array just like that and then down here as we update all of the other elements like the label the image view we're also going to say we're going to say table view and we have to import the table view also so so that we can reload all of the data so just click on that one get your um, view controller and then we are going to drag in our table view to so control drag that in and name it my table view just like that connect it up let's jump over to our view controller again and then here we are going to write let's see where we update right there I'm going to say my table view dot update reload reload data so that way we take all of the new tweets that are in our array and push them into our table view just like that make sure that you have self dot before it and now we should have a table view that is filled with tweets when we search for a particular user so let's search for me again so one the swift guy search and there we have the username we have the profile picture and all of the tweets recording the videos that will be published next week it will be a tutorial that stretches from monday to friday stay tuned as you did so great job scroll along and down and there's one thing that i noticed that we have to do and that is to disable the user interaction because right now our user can edit the tweets and that is not something we want so let's just jump over to main.storyboard before we forget it select the text view and then remove user interaction enabled just like that and then we are going to do one more thing